You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a brand new face for Greater Brockton. I have Cassie Sermon. Did I say yeah. it right? Yes, you did. Nice to meet you. Welcome nice to Greater to Brockton. You, yes. you have a, a newer organization mm -hmm. helping inner city kids succeed, HICS for short. Yes. Right? Yes. And you are bringing to the Brockton community and the area the first annual empowerment show so teens can actually speak their mind. Yes, definitely. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was saying to you off camera before we started, when I was in high school, I don't think anybody really cared what I had to say, except I was a student senator and I was the rep to the school committee, so I got to voice it. But now, no one talks to each other anymore. They're all on these. Exactly. You know, social media, or as I call it, anti-social media. They're not necessarily talking to each other. They might be talking at each other. They might be texting each other. I teach at Massasoit. I have young oh. people but they're basically 17 and up. Mm -hmm. You're hitting the 13 plus exactly. age range. So the date of the event is when? February 15. Okay. It's a Thursday, it's after Valentine's Day, and we it's February 15, 4 to 6 p.m. And it's at the Stacy Adams Arts Building, yes. which is on Dover Street, yes. 33 Dover. It used to be an old decrepit factory that yes, they've turned into a beautiful space for different nonprofits and different groups. We've covered events over there. Um, what are you trying to do? Are you, you, you're going to rope them in. You've got a DJ. <laughs> yes. You've got all sorts of stuff going on. Tell us. Sell so it. The first thing is we have Jeremy 94.5 that is going to be there. That is the number one station in Boston. This is one of the stations where the kids do listen to. So they're going to be there giving out prizes and giveaways through their station. They've also offered to play music if we need it. But they're going to be there to support us in this annual event. And that is something that should definitely get the kids to want to come because they love music. We love music. Um, so we're hoping that's going to help um, get them in. Also, we have DJ Cisco. DJ Cisco is a DJ that does clubs in Boston. He's pretty popular in the 20s year old ranges, but he's willing to come in and support us and play music for the teenagers. All the latest hits they're going to hear, so they can't say they're not, you know, got the music that they want to hear pl being played. So that's something great we have um, happening. Also, we're going to have one of the police officers. We're going to have a police officer so kids can have conversations with them about what matters to them in the community. Do they feel safe? Um, are there any things that concerns them pertaining to them in the community that they may not feel comfortable asking if they're going down the street? So they're actually going to have an area where they can ask questions directly just for them, 13 and up. It's for them to ask whatever questions well, they want to ask. We have a community-friendly police department, and yes, there are a lot of younger do. officers that are mm -hmm. on it, unfortunately they just lost a very young officer yeah. 42 years old to cancer but there are others there are new recruits as a yes. matter of fact the president of my board here is a police officer in Brockton he's oh, a okay. younger he's in his 30s okay? oh I need to talk to him okay um, his name is Joe Miranda by the <laughs> okay. way he's the president of the Cape Verdean Association oh, so you we... might want to talk to him thank you Mark be that'll be great because he is is very he, he started getting involved here when he was 14 years old he was a teenager so he's a perfect okay. example of what we want to see exactly. happening we want the next generation to be like wow I was involved in my community and it leads to that as I get older to continue to be part of it. So Absolutely. definitely, definitely I'm excited and I'm glad you gave that name. Volunteer at heart. He yes. started out, he was one of, as Moses Rodriguez would say, one of the kids. Now he's an adult and now he's serving the community. And like I said, Brockton, if you look at the police department, they just, they added the last couple of years. Very the diverse, fire department yeah. just added 12 people as yeah. well. So we'll, we're looking at some great community support. I love so what's happening. So tell mm -hmm. us about your nonprofit a little bit. Yes, so it's called Helping Inner City Kids Succeed. And the main purpose of it is to connect with the kids who feel they're not connected. It's not necessarily for the kids who have an opportunity where they're making honor roll or they're on the basketball team, they're on their cheerleaders, but it's for those kids we sometimes forget where they feel like they're disconnected with the community. So our purpose is to have a show you know, monthly, we're working on the, how often it'll be, whether it's gonna be every month or um, bi-monthly, but something where the kids have um, their voices being heard and also connect with them where we're able to help them with resume um, for getting jobs at 16 years old. Sometimes kids don't even know, I shouldn't be wearing jeans to go to an interview. Maybe right. I should wear a tie. We recently had a tie drive where we collected lots of ties in the Brockton community. People donated ties, and those ties are for people who need jobs. And we donated some ties to um, Youth Works. Yeah. So people who need ties, look, you need to, this is what you should be looking at. So we're here to help with resumes. We're here to let them know what questions they should be asking for interviews. We're here to let them know 
everything is, you know, accessible to you if you work towards it. So that is our purpose. We'll help you promote everything you do because you're a nonprofit just like we are. Yes. But I'm going to make an offer. I'm not going to, I'm not going to put you on the spot. Okay. But <laughs> back when I worked at another cable station, we did a teen talk show. Yeah. So oh. you never know. Yeah, you so might you be never able to know. hook up and do something like that. It's not as fun as one <laughs> yes. of these events or this party. Mm -hmm. But um, if you really want to hear what the teenagers have to say, give them a voice. Well, this Public is access be, yeah. is a voice too. Exactly. But this is definitely like a teen talk show. We're just not calling it that. This is something where they're going to talk. Like I want to hear their voice. It's interactive. It's not going to be you're just looking at the panel and you're just sitting there. I want to rope them in here too. Yeah, we're going to get yep. them in here. Yes, it, we maybe are. we'll do a segment. Maybe we won't do <laughs> yeah, a show. So but we'll cool. talk about it and we'll talk about maybe possibility of coming over and getting some of the yes. video. I need parental permission and of all course, that fun of kind of stuff, which mm -hmm. I'm sure you do. But I think this is great. I think you get a real catchy it's name. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Okay. I, I think it's needed. Mm -hmm. I, it's needed. So is this your brainchild? Yes. And also I have my partner, Mike, where we, we discussed, you know, he works with me on the different projects. But this is something we're very passionate about. And we definitely want to make a difference in the community. I and we grew up here. I grew up here. I grew up in Brockton. I went through the system. I went to college. I went to grad school. So I am a, a, someone who grew up in the system that really believes in our kids because I had teachers who believed in me. I had a fourth grade teacher, Mr. Bowen. I love him till this day, who was my fourth grade teacher. And he's one of the reasons I'm like, became who I became. So we can make a difference and we can continue to do that by having different events for our students and our kids and making sure that they know that we do care about their voice. Website, phone number, different ways to get in touch with you, Facebook, all of that. So Instagram. Okay. That is number one where we could find our teenagers. So Instagram and parents as well. H I C K S I N C Hicks Inc. So that is where you'll find the information for the event and any future events. H I C K S I N C. And we have our shirt. As you can see, this is our logo. You'll see the logo on there, helping inner city kids succeed. We want volunteers. We are asking for volunteers. We'd love to have anyone who's really dedicated and interested to be part of it. So please be involved. Um, so you're oh, looking for volunteers. Yes, you definitely. You want volunteer help. Of you course, Parents yes. and maybe older. Definitely. Than teen, college students, yes. things like that. Yes. Okay. So we definitely um, want that. Is Instagram it? Is that the only way? So we is have, there an old-fashioned phone number <laughs> for, for someone that... I mean, in Instagram, and then we have an email. Okay. And, I'll, and I'll leave my business card. Um, okay. The email is helpinginnercitykids at gmail.com. Helpinginnercitykids at gmail.com. Exactly how you hear it. Also, our website will be back up. We had a website. We're putting it back up. Hicksinc.org. That will be up in about a week. And people can contact us by that way as well. So they gave me the one-minute queue. I'm just going to okay. run over the date, time, place again. Yes. So it is February 15th, mm -hmm. which is a Thursday. And the time frame you told me was? Four to six. Four to six. Okay, we're going to put that poster up in the lobby perfect, when you leave. Perfect. Four to six. Mm -hmm. You have Jim and 94.5. You have DJ Cisco. You have all sorts of, you know, entertainment, talk, ages 13 and up. 13 and up. Okay. And uh, I would say be there or be square, right? Be there or be square. It's going to be lit, like the kids like to say. You're going to have so much fun, and we want you to come. Do not feel shy. Bring your friends, and we're going to have a good, good time. Perfect. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions. Oof, that was nerve-wracking. Did you want a pic? Are you getting a picture? Or, I'm or sure, picture? yes, stay, definitely. Uh, okay, right move. here? Oh, okay. We'll sit at the table. Right, yes, like, yes. Like the come. We can either pose for the picture or okay. we can talk. Thank Whatever you, Mark. You were great. Thank you. Yeah, that was amazing. It. Yeah? Amazing. I mean, well, I'm going to see. You are oh, 399. Oh, I've done 399 of these. I'm almost oh, eat 400. Oh, wow. One Ooh, more. Almost there, almost there. <laughs> I just think we need to, uh, to explore. We're like a community calendar. There really isn't an organized community calendar. Did you take the? You have my phone, um, Manushka? Yes, please. Oh, <laughs> Did you take pictures? How'd it go? Good, good. good. So when will it air? Well, this will get on like within the next couple of days, and it'll run okay. all the way till the day before the event. So how do I know what um, when? So what time? You does leave it your air? information, and I'll send you. And uh, Thank can you. you link videos to? to yes. Instagram, yes. so we'll send you the video so perfect. you can link it. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay. Young adults, after you've done pictures, get in there. Yeah, well, Jay Come will on. take the picture too. 
stand on that. You could just stand like come, come, come. Come, stand come over yeah, here. Yeah, come over here. It doesn't matter. Come on. <laughs> Jay's gonna do. Jay will do the picture. Okay. It's really even a picture. It's uh, yeah. I'll take a couple of pictures, like a photo, photograph. Okay. okay. Uh, perfect. Perfect. 